Today, this uh, daily activity is something normal in our life. Wake up, come to the bathroom, wash our head, head and watch our image in a, in a mirror is something common. Because, well, mirrors are something common in our daily life. You can get it in a supermarket, you can get it in your cell phone, you can uh, see it in, in the stores, you can see it in your car. So something is very, very common today. But mirrors were something very weird in the past. They were not as simple and common items like this today. My name is Dr. Emiliano Gallaga Morrita, and we're going to talk about mirrors. Well, so follow me, myself and me, too, about talking about mirrors. Well, in nature, I mean, we are we have tons of animals, but the human are the only animals in, the, in nature who make it to the complexity, to a mind, evolve into a, what is today known as a homo sapiens sapiens. But from the beginning of time, from the beginning, from the human, have conscious of self, have conscious of their surroundings, have conscious of the items that, are, so the, that they surround them, they start to have this curiosity. And the curiosity is what makes us today what we are. But how we how we we come to that and how mirrors are important in this in these studies probably uh, i mean the, the human not only wants to know what is how uh, around us but they also want to know about themselves they want to know our faces i can see your face you can see my face but i cannot see my face and that's something that we always looking for i mean how i can know myself and probably one of the first uh actions that the humans do in order to know themselves was to look for a surface that reflects our image. In this case, this is a, just a container with water. And probably this is one of the first things that they see each other. You can see, I mean, you can see my face, well, barely, but that's something that we do every day. So every society, every human group, they try to make items to flat surface in order to, re to make reflections. And so we saw from the beginning of, of, the, uh, of the human history how humans start to change in, to make stuff, to make something not for the uh, to supply food, dress or house, but also to make art. And among those items, they were mirrors. We can see some examples here in the Bronze and the Iron Age about these mirrors that they were uh, used by elites. And why? Because mirrors were something uh, special. Uh, they were difficult to make and they were special not on the manufacture but on the meaning. So mirrors were only used by kings, princes, the daughters of those, those, of those elite, high warriors and sorcerers. This is very important because mirrors has not only the aesthetic use, they, they were not uh, produced only to see ourselves, to see we are well dressed or we have a car or how we look today but also mirrors were used for magic or ceremonial uh, purposes so mirrors were very important in the in the um, uh, society and uh, in the development of the human being so we can see that the mirrors are not only for like we said before only to use for aesthetic purpose but also for magical things and that's something that we're going to start to look and talk about in different uh, different clips that we're going to start producing so now thank you very much and stay tuned